Hey guys, I'm Kyle with Ride Home. I'm gonna share some tips with you guys about how to mount your slider to a tripod to get it off the ground, and then how to mount some fluid heads and ball heads uh, on top of the slider to be able to position your camera and to be able to move it while you're sliding. So the most basic setup for mounting to a tripod, this is um, a pretty awesome Manfrotto tripod. You can get them for about 150, 200 bucks. Uh, really recommend them. First thing first, you just screw it on. So the center plate has tapped holes for 3 8 and quarter 20. Most tripods have 3 8 screws. And so on this one, it's really nice because the stem actually twists. I just screw it in, lock it down, and pretty much the slider is all ready for me to mount my camera to it. So next up, the most basic mounting solution is using a ball head, which I recommend everyone get that owns a Rhino slider. Most of you guys probably have them. Those of you that are looking to buy a Rhino slider, make sure you buy one. Um, we recommend the Manfrotto 496. Uh, it's a pretty beefy ball head. I think it retails for about like 70, 80 bucks on B&H, uh, but it can support up to about 15 pounds. So the Rhino slider carriage ships with a 3 8 and a quarter 20 screw also. Um, so go ahead and it ships with a 3 8 one in it. Most bigger ball heads have a 3 8 in the bottom. So all you have to do is just screw it in like so. It's pretty simple. Um, the, the other receiver piece goes onto your camera. It'll tell you which way to position it. And then you're able just to click it in. Make sure it's all tightened down and you're pretty much ready to film. So typically how we use ball heads is you loosen the screw on the left hand side and you're able to position your camera up or down, left or right, depending on what kind of shot you wanna get. So for most of our shoots, we love using quick release plates. It makes it really easy to get gear on and off other pieces of gear. So what I have here is low profile Manfrotto 394 quick release plate. Uh, it's actually great for a Rhino study also, because uh, it's so low profile. But in this case, I'm just gonna use it to mount my slider to my tripod. It's really fast. If you're doing something like a wedding where you're, you're moving around a lot and you're on and off your tripod with a slider, it's really nice to have that connection. Um, and then the ball head, 496 again, clicks in really nice there, and you're pretty much ready to go. Now, if you wanna get more creative shots or be able to level your shot quicker and easier, it's really nice to have a fluid head underneath your slider. So essentially, a lot of fluid heads have a 3 8 inch flat base mount, um, and so that just mounts directly to your sticks, your tripod. This right here is the Manfrotto 502 HD. It is probably the single most valuable piece of equipment we have that uh, is like under 200 bucks. It's amazing. Um, so I would totally recommend this. By the way, Manfrotto doesn't pay us to say any of this stuff. We just tend to love their gear. So I actually have the handle taken off because if we use it to level the slider, it really just gets in the way. So I have the 501 plate bolted to the bottom of the Rhino slider. And again, it acts as a really sweet quick release. Slide it in, tighten it up. And this essentially allows me to get some more creative shots. I can tilt this. I can even go vertical with it if I wanted to. Well, I'm pretty near vertical. Um, let's say I wanted to get a creative shot where I am I'm moving up a little bit. This is where having a ball head on top of your slider actually allows you to level your camera like so. It's really easy. Um, it's really nice to use the built-in level into your camera just to make sure that it's level. And then you can loosen up your carriage brakes and you're pretty much ready to get a shot. Um, it's a really cool way, really fast way during event shooting to get some really neat shots. Now, if you have a heavier setup and you wanna support more weight on your slider, we definitely recommend using a more heavy duty tripod. We have one here that is a Manfrotto 546B. I think it supports up to like 44 pounds. Uh, it has a mid-level spreader, which keeps the legs from spreading out. And once you get it up into these more heavy duty tripods, they actually have something called a bowl built into it, which uh, they come in 75 mil and 100 mil. And what that allows you to do is to level your slider once you get on location, which is really nice. Um, so instead of having to move the legs around, I can actually just loosen this tensioner and I can actually move the slider around like so. Now, it works really well if I'm using a ball, 
so that I can also level my camera after I change the level of my slider. Um, what I did here, which is different on the previous setups, is I put the 502 HD on top of the slider, and this is really nice if you want to get um, more of a parallaxing view. I'll show you how that works. You can loosen up your, your tensioners. So if I'm shooting at somebody here, I can actually use the pan handle to turn the slider, turn the camera as I slide back and forth. That's also great for pans while you're doing that with your slide. It takes a bit of practice to be able to get it smooth, um, but it's definitely a really cool effect. Now, if you guys have any questions about how to mount your slider, the different tripods, different fluid heads and ball heads, quick releases, everything we covered, please email us at support at rhinocg.com. Thank you for watching.